Hey guys, thanks for tuning in on Neri's Kitchen. Today we have a special guest, Charlene, showing us what one day's worth of meal prep would look like. Hi, my name is Charlene Zawoski. I am a Fit Club member and I'm here today to show you what one day of meal prep looks like for me. I like to keep it uh, fairly simple. Uh, my focus is to get as much protein as I can from food so that I'm not using shakes. Um, and depending on where I'm at, it, um, if I'm doing a belly burn, then I'll uh, decrease the carbs, increase the protein and uh, modify some details. So for breakfast, I make a oatmeal egg uh, combination that has oatmeal, eggs, egg whites, bananas, and chia seeds. And again, depending on where I am at in, um, in my phase of a belly burn, I increase uh, or decrease the eggs or egg whites and the oatmeal to decrease the carbohydrates. And then I add cinnamon um, and there's also bananas. I mix that up, heat it up in the microwave. And I take all of these items to work. So that's why um, everything uh, is helpful to be pre-made as well. Then for a snack, I make Greek yogurt, which is high in protein, low in fat. Um, I combine it with keto granola, which is high in protein, low in carbohydrates, and also has some um, super grains in there. And as well, I add some fruit, some blueberries. Then for my lunch, I make chicken. I always make sure I weigh my chicken as well. Then I'll add another protein uh, carbohydrate mix which is uh, adami beans, uh, about a half a cup of a salad, and it is um, a dill uh, combo salad. Uh, then for a snack in the afternoon, I have some veggies. I like crunchy vegetables, pea pods or radishes or carrots, but today I'll show you uh, pea pods and radishes. And again, those ones are high in fiber as well. They have uh, carbohydrates, low in fat. I will add a little bit of um, dip. Usually try and uh, make my own so that it's lower in fat, but sometimes I will also, uh, if I'm looking for more fat, I will just uh, buy some from the store that's already pre-made and add a tablespoon or two of that. And then for supper, usually have um, another uh, protein meat. So today I'm gonna show you a salmon and today I'm cooking um, uh, Atlantic salmon, which is higher in protein, 37 grams of protein, higher in fat and has no carbohydrates. And if you ever wanna get uh, salmon that is low in fat, you'd wanna look more so for the um, wild salmon. Uh, and then as well, for my rice, I am going to show you how I make it. Um, instead of using water, I use a bone broth, which is high in protein and uh, collagen, and it's so great things for your body and your health. Two cups of bone broth, and you can buy a bone broth in the health food section. One cup of rice, get a bit of stir, and then I'm going to um, bring this to a boil and simmer it for 20 minutes. For my vegetable, uh, chosen asparagus, and um, which again is uh, good for fiber, has a little bit of protein and a uh, good carbohydrate mix. For my evening snack, I'll have uh, some kind of a shake. Um, I try to stay away from uh, having uh, a protein shake, but if need be, I'll have a casein protein, uh, which is uh, kind of slow, more slowly absorbed. Um, and if I don't want to include the protein, then I'll um, use cottage cheese as actually my base for my shake uh, with some uh, fruits and uh, spinach. Thank you, Neri, for inviting me. This is a demonstration of what I make for my one day meal prep. And I also wanted to share um, an important tip to print off your macro sheets, um, either one for that most of the belly burn coaches will provide you with. They're a really good reference, especially if you're struggling to remember a protein carbohydrate combination or just an item that is high in protein or high in fat. And my name is Charlene Zawoski and I look forward to seeing you on the blue.
And there you have it. Thanks Charlene for sharing us what one day's worth of meal prep would look like. And guys, stay tuned for next week as we will be talking about alkaline water.